Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm continuing my series of videos about getting a job in data analytics, data science. If you didn't see my first video where we created the perfect CV, the link is here. So yeah, as now we have a perfect CV, so it's time to discuss where to find open job positions, how to apply and how to pass first interviews. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching this video up to the very end and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Of course, if you put sentences like data analyst jobs or data scientist jobs into Google, you will find dozens of websites with open jobs positions, but actually these platforms uh, are not the best ways to find great vacancies. Uh, but still, let's discuss three uh, of them, like well known. The first one is Glassdoor. This is actually the site where you're able to find jobs by key terms and different filters like location and industry, company size see even salary results for all these levels. Next one is Indeed. Uh, here you also can find many open positions with different filters and put their skill that you want to apply, salary, expectation and etc. And one more platform which is great if you don't want to work only for one company and you want to provide your services to different clients, you want to be a freelancer or like in other words to work for yourself, this platform calls Upwork. Completing the profile there, like write your portfolio, education, also you are able to add their video introduction, mention how many hours you are able to work there and search for jobs. By the way, while applying for the jobs, you need to offer your amount, your due date, and also here you also may attach your cover letter and different attachments to show the potential client that you are eager to get this job and you are the best candidate for it. If you want to get a particular um, project, you need to put as many details as you are able. But what resource is really worth mentioning is LinkedIn. And this is actually that one secret platform that you need to obtain and that it will substitute all other websites. Due to LinkedIn, there are more than 875 members in more than 200 countries. Can you imagine? The platforms connect professionals from different areas as well as specialists with recruiters and HR. So this is actually the best platform to find the job in IT industry, uh, in data analytics, in data science. So. Yeah. There is also an article or post on LinkedIn written by founder of Integral Master Coach with simple, nice tips how to set up your LinkedIn profile. I'll put the link in the description. And based on his word, 85% of jobs can only be found by networking or LinkedIn. Believe me, if you're in business or in IT industry, you definitely should have a profile. There. It actually reminds me like online CV and social platform in one time because you are able to record there all your achievements, job experience, education, all your certificates that you earned, write messages and etc. One more time, this is the only one platform that you need to find a job and stay up to date. So let's discuss what do you need to include in your profile there to make it more attractive to recruiters and HR if you have LinkedIn profile or already. Check if you include all these things and if not follow these steps to create a profile. After signing up you need to choose your country and region. Okay, for example France, most recent job title. Uh, if you don't have professional experience you may put I'm a student or if you decide to put your non-professional uh, experience. If you didn't work like data analyst or data scientist before you of course may uh, put there any other jobs like marketing specialists also can choose your employment type describe all details related to your previous job position and here you can actually give the sign to recruiters that you are looking for a job and choose yes I'm actively looking for a new job so if recruiters will try to find someone with specified filters they also will see the mark near your name that you are actively searching for a job here is the next step what kind of job are you looking for so 
this is your time to specify the desired job position uh, okay let's put data analyst and job location even if you choose here some specific location you still will be able to apply other uh, locations in the future linkedin has job alerts uh, like if there are some new vacancies appeared on this website uh, linkedin is sending these vacancies to your email so it's quite convenient so you are able to stay up to date with new job positions. Yeah, here is your profile and as you see here you already see some recommended for your job position so you're able to apply it right now but we don't have set up profile uh, so let's create one. First step is upload a professional photo as based on LinkedIn members with a profile photo on a LinkedIn can get up to 21 times more profile views from recruiters and HRs than members without a photo. Next you're clicking on add profile section. You're adding all these steps. So about section is an excellent opportunity to showcase your most recent or impressive achievements such as those that may be most valued by employees. What do you think is most attractive to HRs? Education. Here is also an important point like in CV we discussed. You basically can copy all the information that you mentioned in your CV if you follow of course the steps that we were talking about. So you're choosing your school, your degree, your field of study, your start date, your end date, activities. Also, you are able to add the description, give the detailed information. What is important is your experience. Of course, like in your CV, the recruiters and HRs should see where you've been working and what you achieved. So here is also a special chapter for your experience. You need to write your title, employment type, company name, location, their date. Basically, you still can copy the description of your job position from CV and put it in your LinkedIn. Don't forget to use bullet point and active verbs to demonstrate that you achieved something in your results, like achieved result, decreased, increased, uh, enhanced, like everything that we were discussing on my previous video. Also, keep your description short and to the point, avoiding lengthy sentences and paragraphs. Just give all the key points to recruiters. You also can add here your skills and this is a great chapter where you need to demonstrate what you know, include everything you have expertise in, also those that you are close familiar with, but don't include something that you don't know at all. SQL, Python, Power BI. Here you also are able to demonstrate your skills, which means to pass some tests. It includes 15 multiple choice questions and if you are solving them correctly, you're receiving like a reward from LinkedIn that is proving that you really know this language. There is also like special chapter in LinkedIn which is activity. You are able to create to create posts, share for example data analytics or data science related topics on LinkedIn. For example, if you read an interesting article or tutorial related to data science or data analytics, share it in your LinkedIn post. This helps your peers recognize your value and also acknowledge your dedication to learn something. A great tip is customize your LinkedIn profile URL. Public profile URL will provide a convenient way for recruiters, uh, HRs to spot you quickly in search results. So here you have edit your custom URL. Next advice is connect with at least 50 contacts. You're able to find it on resources panel. You're clicking my network and here you are looking for your colleagues, groupmates, classmates. The main point of adding contacts is networking, of course, but also if you're adding your colleagues, friends or classmates, groupmates, they can approve your skills. For example, you worked with your classmate uh, on some pre presentation or uh, some visualization and this classmate is also on LinkedIn. He knows that your copy of Power BI or Python or PowerPoint, he's able to approve that you know this skill like by clicking on your skill. 
One more advice, include your link to your LinkedIn profile into your CV. Consider LinkedIn like your online CV and professional community. Boost your page there and you will get more views, more offers from recruiters and HR. Believe me. Okay, once you set up your LinkedIn profile, you can try to find a job there main to use the, some filters or search by title on the left side uh, the vacancies that are open and the company that are hiring there are two types of job application the first one is easy apply it means that you're applying for this job position directly on the LinkedIn website by the way important point don't forget to read job description um, before applying to any job so consider these job requirements otherwise HR uh, will Say that you're just doing a distribution of your CV and you are not interested in particular job position or a particular company. So yeah, uh, try to read the average of description and not making distribution of your CV. You're pressing easy apply. Here you have some field that you should fill. What your resume? So here is uh, your perfect CV is going. After uploading your CV, you are reviewing your application and just submit your application and the second type of application is a company's website so here i'm pressing apply here i'm going to sagit.com website when you're applying on a company's website there are more fields you should fill some companies just require your cv and your phone number some companies require all this info like with your home address etc so yeah it depends on the company and you should also consider your interest in this um, or that company if you're really interested in getting a job in for example tesla of course you should and you will do the cover letter extra links like uh, will link your github uh, will link your LinkedIn profile. You will do everything to increase your chances to get this job. But if you are not really interested in the company, I should suggest you not to spend time on getting extra documents specifically to that company that you are not actually interested in. Better to spend your time on something really useful and efficient. After applying for these jobs by Easy Apply or directly on company's website, you should wait HR's response. But there is a rule. Per 100 resumes submitted, you will get 2-3 answers from HR's and that is totally okay that this how everything works and it doesn't mean that something wrong with you. Uh, it just means that sometimes company don't have enough time to check all CVs, too many CVs and etc. So yeah, be patient, send as many CVs as you can, but don't forget to read job description. After receiving as responses from HRs, you will get the invitation for your interview. Sometimes it can be like basic interview where you're sharing your previous experience, you're answering some questions related to your background, to project that you submitted, what was most challenging for you, how did you cope with it, what skills did you use, give also insights into your work style, like how do you like to work, relationship with your colleague. Also on this interview, HR will tell you more about job description this company so you also will be able to analyze whether it suits your your needs and your interest or no be ready to show what you know and also sometimes after receiving your CV companies are sending the link to a mathematical test or assessment logical assessment where you need to solve like 30 tasks per 30 minutes mostly like analysis tasks count the percentage of some to analyze a pie chart, to analyze a table. There are many examples of such mass assessment on the internet. So if you're receiving the link to this mathematical assessment test, be sure you're going to Google and check specification of such task there to understand how everything works there. Next video is going to be about tech uh, interviews, uh, how to prepare, uh, what should you know, how to answer some questions. Because if your CV is not attractive to HR, uh, you will not get a response. Next, finding a job is super important to know where to find these vacancies. By the way, one thing that I forgot to mention about LinkedIn, you're able to write their HR directly. For example, you're opening job position and you see that, the, for example, Tesla is looking for data analysts and you see who is 
actually looking who is in charge of this job position in that company you're able to write him directly in LinkedIn to express your interest also it's important to uh, prepare some uh, answers to like typical HR questions so we will talk about them in my next final video of this series and I hope this video was interesting for you leave your comments I will try to answer all of them and I will see you soon in my next video